This is an emergency, I beg an urgent This is a serious case I put my water on these hands so I can do what I gotta do. Oh. Oh, what? All right. Well, oh, I ain't gonna quit rubbing that all that. Look at you using my word. That make me feel good. That's right. That's right. I ain't gonna quit rubbing. Hey, don't know. Don't nobody know how to use that word, though, boy. That slick robber bitch, quit. I got one more question. <laughs> Uh, and the, the slick robin, slick robin here is when motherfuckers sitting out there hitting you on the slide, they punching you, uh, saying little sly ass shit. Bitch, don't slick rob me. Say what's on your mind. <laughs> shit, I'm, I'm old school, bitch. You, you, all that laughing and poking and punching and all that laughing and insult, bitch. That's a slick rob. Say what's really on your mind. Now take your teeth away out of it. That me. What? As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthday. And I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing you a message from my ancestor. How that work? Lay down five cards. I lay down five clarifying cards. Each card represents your ancestor and the clarifying card represents a message for them. Before I move to the next one, I'm going to ask, would you like to ask that ancestor a question concerning what they said for you? Uh, no question is a dumb question. Please be open. Don't be like, I don't know who that is. I ain't never seen that before. I can't. And, and please, I am not a psychic medium. So I do not say, I do not look in your head and say, hey, Sarah is here. What you got to say to Sarah? So I don't do that. So you can know these ancestors. You can't know their ancestors. We're talking about ancestors, not recently deceased dead relatives. I have to say that, okay? Okay. All right, now I'm taking the lyrics, shuffling your card. Say your first name, whatever you like to be called, so I can pray on them. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. Four, five. All right. Let's get this. All right. Oh, this is good. Let me guess. You ain't got no oh. boyfriend. You ain't got no man. You ain't got none of that, right? Just throwing it out there. I ain't got what? You ain't got no boyfriend. You ain't got no man. You ain't got none of that. That's what people say. Cause I'm just gonna tell. Okay then. There we go. Cause God knows everybody called it either celibate, ain't screwed in thirty years, or they ain't got no boyfriend or girlfriend, and this shit is getting out of hand. But I'm gonna tell you what the ancestor said. Nah, your first ancestor came to the form came in the form of a man, but he came in the form of a wealthy man. And when I say a wealthy man, this is not no game plan. He is loaded, baby. Jingling, baby. Go ahead, baby. The jingling, baby. Nah, he came in the form of the message from the earth in the upright position. Uh, he is basically saying that there's money, to, there's a lot of finances to be made. The problem is you ain't capitalizing on the person who can make the finances. Like you ain't giving that person a boost. You ain't supporting that person enough now his message to you is twin flame i think you need to lean into your husband understanding of what his ideas are what he can do what he can what he can muster hell if he can't read and this is just i'm just giving you now if he can't read but he can fix cars get start telling people print out the flyers for him and say hey drop your car here get that bitch to working you know what i'm saying this is you supporting your mate so what aren't you doing to support your mate on all his endeavors um, I thought I was supporting him. Started out above it. I did his payroll and he said he wanted to do it. I was like, okay. What's the fastest lab? Um, I'm there in the office running it, doing it. So I thought I was doing it. Well, you, well then, that, well then, let me change. Let me change it up a little bit. Well, since you are helping, the message from the earth, your twin flank, this is gonna be a big success. Don't stop doing it. Okay. Okay. This, this rich uncle say, yeah, they gonna, this man is finna start making some money. Don't stop. Do what you do. Uh, Would you like to ask this ancestor a question? Yes, is there anything specific I can do to keep this going forward and to keep him pushing to make more money? Or what else can I do? 
Spirit, what is it that she missing that you're talking about? Where can she do to keep it rolling? Spirit said positive change. Spirit said follow your heart. Spirit said bounce. Oh, shit. You ain't going to go in with him? You said I'm not going to go in with him? You ain't going to go in with him. You ain't going to start your Amazon account or Etsy account. You ain't going to start selling used goods. Spirit said balance career in home life. Follow your heart and positive change. This is you entrepreneuring and quitting your job and getting on you a uh, hustle. What you got going on? Yeah. Well, I know I, you know, I was telling him today, you know, about doing business machines that earn passive um, income. If, you know, we ain't got to hire somebody necessary to do it. That's something we can do and it's going to make money on its own. Through that idea, I've never been. We were talking about that today. So how about you do it? Yeah. You know, that's what he said. Balanced career at home life. Y'all finna be y'all finna hit the money. All right, we gonna get on it then. All right. Now we're gonna go over here to your second ancestor. This ancestor is a 17, 16 year old boy. I'm sorry, but this ancestor was shot down, killed, street gang banging, hustling in that energy. This ancestor came in the form of the six of fire in the upright position. Now, he say that he was a leader. He was, I'm getting such a headache. They shot him in the head, too. Jesus Christ. Woo. Woo. This recent, too, darling. Recent? Yeah, these kids got on skinny clothes. What? I know I had any hmm? cousin that was like that, but it was a car accident. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a car accident. So, yeah. you, you sure wasn't nobody shooting at his car and he ran in the car accident and crushed his head? That could very well be true, but it was not gang initiation that, you know, with the car accident when it happened. So, that very well could be true. Okay, that, now this is him. This is him, because okay. my, my head is killing me just off the headache. So, bullet took his head, and I guess if they didn't find it, if they didn't tell your auntie, your uncle, how the fuck that happened. Well, he said he, yeah, because he said he was a leader of a gang, because this is the Six of Fire, and he got a bunch of people behind him. Now... He is okay. saying something like this. There's a, he's trying to warn you of a sickness. I don't know if you have a daughter and I don't know if, if it's you, but he is saying he's trying to warn you of a sickness that's in some female body. Well, I know I have lupus. Okay, so, oh. you're, so, you're, so he's coming back to warn you of your sickness. Now, since you have mm -hmm. lupus, and, and and forgive me for asking you don't ask a woman they wait but i'm gonna ask you to wait because what he's showing me is uh a real somebody getting real slender but keeping bigger breast like slender in the body the the stomach the legs just slender but the breast staying the same uh i don't know what lupus do but it's autoimmune autoimmune I gotta research autoimmune. But yeah, but yeah, so he is saying that there's a lot more help at your disposal. Like he can bring a gang of people to help you and they can come and get you right. The problem of the simple fact that the matter is, you, uh, cause he got, you need to look in the mirror and choose peace. Do you think if you accept that you need help that this shit will get worse or are you gonna ignore it or you trying to pray it away or think it away or positive energy the shit away? Um, no, but um, I thought I had it under control because at one point I did have a really bad flare, but it ended me up in the hospital for a few weeks. Uh, I had to be on dialysis because they shut down my kidneys. And a few months later, I was having seizures and I was in the hospital and uh, med somewhat a medical induced coma. But since then, I've been doing pretty good. Well, do yourself a favor. Do yourself a favor and write a write a petition to your ancestors on your ancestor altar, asking them to come in and get you. Because he's saying these brothers are toting this lady, and by all means and necessary, if you wear the color red, I'm gonna chop your leg off. Do not put on anything red for at least thirty days while you're praying. He say no red. I don't give a fuck. You got red in your shoes. I don't give a fuck. You got red undies. Nothing red. No socks. No shoes. No hat. No shirt. Okay. Gotcha. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um. So after I do the 
write a petition and put it on my office for my ancestors that were in no red. Is there anything else I can do? Anything else she can do, she should do for this lupus, this, this sickness you're talking about, young man. Nope, he said purification, he said listen, and he said freedom. Surprisingly, this is going to cure you. If you do it right, you're going to be cured, sister. They want to take this away from you. Okay. Okay, now he, tell, he talking again. So you had a niece, was the niece in the car with this man, or was the niece, did you have a female that got hurt along with him? No, I don't only person in the car that I knew was him. He was my cousin. I didn't know anybody else. Everybody else was gay members or who else it was that knew of him. But I didn't know anybody else in that car. So, somebody else should have said something I do know. He's saying, he's saying that he's saying that he I, and this is really weird. I don't know if they telling me, I don't know if they playing with me, but I I just gotta say what they say. Maybe you'll understand it. He's saying he convinced okay. he convinced his homegirl or his cousin because they don't I don't think they related. He said he convinced her to come and take the sickness for you, like she's gonna be the stand-in for it. I don't know you. Maybe you got a, a big mission ahead of you, but he's like, yeah, 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 go do that, go do that. And the girl is saying, okay, I'll do it. It's like that follow the leader type shit because he's saying he is the leader. So, so put it up there and tell them to get rid of that shit and maybe he gonna have her come and cure you and by by her energy messing with your energy because she's such a young energy it's gonna restore yours you know what I'm saying yeah okay all right look into that oh, all right now we're gonna go over here to your third ancestor oh, you hiding why are you hiding why are you hiding behind a wall this crazy sound I hate when ancestors want to play games. They here and they looking around the wall. Why are you peeking behind the wall? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, you. I'm all that. All right, all right. This is like a uh, this ancestor is like a Puerto Rican, Hispanic kind of mixed breed, very bright skinned person. I can't see him because they keep hiding behind the wall. It is a man, but it's a short, chubby man. Uh, what are you? What are you trying to do? Okay, he came in the form of the six of earth in the upright position. Having this card, he's saying that are they like are uh, he's afraid they're gonna put him to work or send him to war. He's the scary cat of the bunch. Now he is saying, I don't wanna do the work. I don't wanna do nothing. They're gonna find me and they're gonna make me do work. Or they're gonna find me and they're gonna make me do something. That's his energy. Now, having the six of earth upright, he's saying there's work to be done. But he's saying you need to avoid allowing people to work you, sister. If it ain't your husband and yourself getting your business together, outside shit don't matter no more. Hide from people. If they calling, HR call, hey, could you come in early? No, I need you to help me with, no. He's saying hide because they're gonna put you to work. His message to you is priorities. You have other priorities than filling the, in the gap for everybody else around you. Okay. Would you like to ask him a question? Yeah, so how can I make this happen better? Because not everything else. That's not a priority. And that's not a good question. It doesn't make sense. So how can you um, cut? So ask a question. He's saying you shouldn't be working for nobody else or letting people use you. Ask him a question of why 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 shouldn't you do anything for anybody else? What's the what's the fear based right. system? That let's rock with that one. Why are you hiding? Why won't you let her do anything? Focus upon your strength, flow of prosperity. Come on, tell her then. Find the blessing in your current situation. You heard it. Focus on your strength, flow of prosperity. Find the blessing in your current situation. You should be sick and tired of helping everybody else. Yeah. What about you? I am. Get your I shit together. I'm saying get your I shit together. I can't lie. I am. All right. That's it. He good. All right. Now we're going to go over here. The, this lady, I don't know if you know her name. She just gave me her name. Her name is Kina, Tina, or like Drina. It got, I think she said it with a K. Christina. It's something like that. I know I seen a K, but Ina. So I would say Christina, Kina, uh, that type of stuff. 
she came in the form of the two of water in the upside down position now they're saying there's a lot of unshared emotional activity now i'm seeing isolation separation uh what's this who is this? they the the relationship is pretty good she's helping out the husband who is it what are you trying to say what is the two of water upside down who has a dog who has a dog they don't keep it up though who has a dog uh in the house, though. That they my aunt has a dog, and then her son has a dog. That which one is not being kept up? So she basically yeah. let me let me change it. Let me change it up. The dog ain't important. All right, which one is calling on you to help them, but you have been avoiding them lately? Oh, uh -huh. she says persistence. Keep avoiding this aunt. Okay. This is one of the ones that you're trying. You're gonna be able to help, or they're gonna be. Messing with you, and then your loop is kicking, and then it, it's like, who's gonna help you? Yeah, X this one out. Avoid this one. Okay. Would you like to ask this ancestor a question? So, what can I do to avoid her without seeming to be, you know, mean or nasty? You know what I mean? What can What can she do to avoid her? Work your magic. Uh huh. See the other person's point of view. Work your magic, see the other person's point of view, father, husband, brother, son. I'm helping my husband right now. Oh, me and my husband, we got something to do. Me, okay. me and my husband on a trip, me and my husband planted something, me and my husband got this going. She said, use your husband, have her see your husband. Work your magic, see the other person's point of view, father, husband, brother, son. Now, I want to say this name is Karina, C-A-R-I-N-A. -A. So, do you know a Karina? Okay, uh huh. So ask this auntie of yours whenever you do yak with her, do she know a Karina? Because uh, Karina is saying that you shouldn't mess with this auntie. So Karina, so Karina has a stake, has some skin in the game that this auntie need to suffer. By the way. Okay. So this, so, so Karina is your auntie's issue, not yours. All right, let's go over here to your fifth ancestor. I like this one. Oh boy. Yeah. Your tube's tight. Oh Lord, what you gonna say to me? Your tube's tight. No. This house got the seven of the seven of earth in the upright position. This brother is climbing trees, searching, 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 trying to get to the highest coconut. Spirit say, why somebody trying to get you pregnant? Or somebody talking about babies around you? Because his message to you is, so if you're searching for the, if you're trying to bring a baby here, are you going to bring one in? Like, I'm smiling because they like, okay, is it time to bring one in? You you, you ready? You getting the money? Y'all going to be okay? You going to bring the baby in? Because they gave you fertility. And I'm smiling. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, my husband's been talking about having a baby, but I've been on the bed. Is there something we should do? Let's ask. Let's. Is there something we should do to think about having another baby after eight year gap? Spirit, are you telling them to have another baby after eight year gap? Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Let me sprinkle some Florida water on my hands, good goddamn, because you're going to think I'm lying to you. Gave me the yes card. Please do. Please do. Is it, is it, is it going to be a kind of quiz? Because I already had a thing. Oh my God. Please. Oh, come on now. I ain't got to I ain't gotta pull no cards because Karina was sitting over here because the twins came before Karina and then Karina jumped oh. over the twins. Oh, wow. That's why I said, that's why I was looking at this card because the two... I was like, then I'm like, twins? No, twin, no. Then I said, she came and said, Karina, Kina, Karina. Yes, let, let me just ask, because that was in your fourth ancestor before Karina got into the shit. They, they, those are two twins coming. Spirit, are she going to have twins? Mother. Woo, mother. Clearing shield your energy. Health and healing. 
Oh yeah, you finna get well. You finna have these babies. Remember now, he told your, your other nephew cousin who was in that car accident, told the girl to come take your sickness. And she like, I got that. I got that. Okay. They healing you. Help they healing. Clear and shield your energy in order for you to be a mother. Well, they put it on that ancestor 30 days. I knew when they said 30 days on that they'll heal you. They trying to get you well to bring a knee, baby. I will. Okay. <sighs> Y'all don't care about the Barry. I tell you. I'm the really I'm the really thing. I got the eggs, but you don't want to come out here and put the eggs on. <laughs> no, I don't want to come. Uh, uh, are you in the Carolina? Is you in the Carolinas? Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. None of that oh, shit. Yeah. None of that so shit. Cool. I was like, I ain't heard that. Listen, I ain't never heard nothing about no damn ocean termite. That was a spiritual attack. In seven days, I got the scars all over my shit. I ain't going there. The damn, yeah. some, some kind of get your energy was fucking me up. That's my nickname. Shit, yeah. fuck that. This was a pretty good reading, so you finna get healed, your money finna go right, you need to go ahead and open your business up and do your thing, husband doing his thing, this is good. Yeah, I'm Oh, I'm telling you, the twins was about to come, so now, if you name the twins, try to get a Karina in there, okay. maybe, this, maybe they'll help you out. Okay. Cause, cause you never know the girl, cause you never know the girl that's with your your nephew that got shot in the uh, that got his got caught in an accident. When he say that she need to come back, how you know you ain't gonna have two girls? Well, that was nice, cause I already got two twin boys, so I would need two twin girls. <laughs> so that so that probably was gonna happen, but hey, you heard it from the Baron first. You got me. Yeah, I got, you. I got. You. All right. Well, you know what I like to say. If you need to reach me, you know how. Yeah. Can I ask you one thing to clarify for me? Go ahead. So, with the healing, with the um, physical healing ritual, after you talk to the deities for the next seven days, do you walk around the circle starting at the north and walk around to complete the circle? Or do you walk in the same order you talk to each deity? Oh, uh, I'm trying to, I'm confused. Talking about you doing my, my, my health ritual? You want the Patreon, right? Yes, I got the Patreon, yep. I explained that on that Patreon. Of how to do it for the next seven days? No, no, no. When you, you walk around the circle? No, you just, no, you gonna, what this ancestor said, you just write a petition and you put it on your ancestor altar asking them to heal you. Now, if you're gonna do the okay. ritual with the deities and the snake and everything, that's when you, mm -hmm. you follow the steps on that video from that Patreon. And that's a double whammy. That's probably why they talking about healing you. Cause the snake bring draw out all the poison and it bring in people to heal you. If you plan on doing it, they plan on healing you. So what I'm saying, when we when I walk around that circle for seven days, do I do it in the same direction? I talk to each deity or I just walk around the circle for seven days? No, no, no. You you do it in the same direction that you so every day you're gonna start, let's say how how it's broken down, you're gonna start. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right, now. Tell her I say what's up, and y'all have a good evening. I will. Can you do the same? All right, now. Some good readings. She had a good reading. Two excellent readings. I'm going to put hers back to back. So the reading you see for this is, is hers that she got done two days early. And then this one right here. So what can I say? This is a whole night dedicated to her. This sister got it going on and her husband got it going on too. And now they finna bring in some babies. I love this sister and I love her husband and I love this reading. So positive comments below. All right, everybody on the Baron telling you guys to trust the you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So we'll try.
let me start by putting some Florida water on my hands so we can begin. All right, let me go back to this app and mark that we are talking. So you can't say, hey, Baron, I ain't get my reading. All right, got you right here. It is being recorded. I turned on the camera right now, so you is being recorded. Ooh, okay. I can smell the pizza. Oh, <laughs> I can smell it right in my throat. I and I just said, damn, yeah, she did just order pizza. She told me, okay, pizza, pizza. That could be even, that could be even more significant than you know because I had pizza right before I had this panic attack that caused me to. Blackout and have super duper vision. So yeah. So so I thought that I thought so. Every time you eat, you get tired and have a vision. Not like that. Yeah. I feel so exhausted. Yeah. I I that happens to me too. So I don't eat that much. That's why I don't eat that much uh, until I'm like at nighttime going to sleep. Because if I eat in the daytime, I'll take a nap and have a vision. So, okay. Uh, this one was triggered by a lack of uh, proper hydration and uh, I was smoking and I just, I ended up going into like an infinite spiral for like a couple minutes, but it felt like forever. And oh. it's just, that's part of the reason why I booked this conversation. Okay. It's raining hard outside. When you call, look at her. You breaking my wind. You breaking the good out. We'll fix it. All right. Well, uh, your phone is doing that low thing again. So we'll go from there. So if you could try to talk up, but if that's the best, I'm pretty sure my microphone will pick it up. Okay. Um. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something real quick. Is this better? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, as you know, I'm a go all right. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs and birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're gonna be doing you a consultation, which consists of you asking questions for how for the time allotted for the reading. No question is a crazy question. Ask to your little heart content, okay? All right, so I've taken a little bit of shuffling your card. Say your first name or whatever you like to be called, so I can pray on. Tell me what the questions. So the first question was about the situation I mentioned a little while ago when you said you were tasting the pizza, like in the situation that happened right after I ate the pizza, where I had essentially I self-diagnosed as having a panic attack, but um. Yeah, I I had some, some visions during it that I wanted to get some clarity on. Okay, let's rock. Okay, so um the first thing that I wanted to ask about was I ended up seeing myself as like a college student that had discovered some kind of principle and you know, I had essentially been given a, a vision of myself through a spirit's eyes, which is like I don't know if you're going to replace the Sims, but I kind of saw myself in that in that way where you can look down on yourself and you can see yourself. And I had been getting some pretty good grades from Spirit, but on the last test, I seemed to not have done so well. Mm -hmm. And it, I realized that I hadn't really leaned on my friends like I was supposed to. And it made me really disappointed in myself. But at the same time, I had seemingly received grace because Spirit could see that I was severely overwhelmed. Um, I wanted to know how to get better grace <laughs> next time and not feel so overwhelmed. Spirit, how can she get how can she yeah. get better grace next time and not feel so overwhelmed? Testing season. Spirit said freedom. Spirit said open your heart to love. Spirit said artistic expression. See the problem is you haven't explored enough. You're, what, are you a recluse? I am, I tend to stay to myself. Okay, so recluse means stay in the house. Introvert means stay to yourself. Yeah. 
Yeah. Freedom, open your heart to love, artistic expression. You have to get out. You have to get out, explore, talk to people, paint, do stuff, paint with colors, smell the wind, kick a beaver in the nuts. You have to do something activity wise. Okay, that's what that means. If you want to get better at these test spirits saying, you're going to have to face your fears and everything. Okay? Okay. Can I ask what my, what my fears are? Because I feel like I'm a pretty brave person. I don't mind going out and talking to people. I just tend to stay inside because I really don't have anything scheduled to do. Sure, she playing with you, but let's help her. Spirit, what is she afraid of? Uh, You're a grown woman eating a pizza. You can't be too damn afraid. Spirit, what is she afraid of? Spirit say traveling, going outside. See the you're seeing the situation accurate travel. Let it go. Uh-huh. And uh Oshun energy. So uh let me guess you're you you celibate, you single, I ain't had a man in a hundred years, right? Uh more like six months, yeah. Good. That means that you still screwing. With that being said, Oshun oh, in <laughs> Yes. I wish I was. I'm not gonna you, lie. But you just on a six month You just on a six month drought, okay? Mm-hmm. Oshun oh, energy. What are you afraid of? Oshun oh, energy, your feminine energy, your heightened spiritual feminine energy, letting it go, and then you are seeing the situation accurately. You're, you're like, oh, well, if I go and travel to see this person and or if I go outside, um, uh, XYZ going to see me. What, did you deal with a neighbor close to you or something? Because I'm seeing like you're hiding from yes. somebody. Yes, I, the person that I was seeing six months ago literally lived exactly next to me and we had a falling out and I have not been involved with anybody since then because it's been... It's a traumatic situation. It's because he lived too close and you want to feel like the hero. Well, he ended up moving. He ended oh. up moving quite a bit of distance away. Okay, so now he's not there anymore. Get your ass outside. <laughs> you was hiding because he was there. You thought you were having ocean energy, let it go. Traveling, going play. You was afraid you were going to see him, but he's gone. Good, Get out there. Okay. That's what you're afraid of. I do. I did have a nervousness of seeing him out there because he said some pretty um, reckless things to me upon our, our dissolving. And where I live, it's a pretty small area, so people can, can pop up at will almost. But but Baron, like, he moved. But Baron, he moved far away. Well, far enough away, I'll say it like that. Well, he moved far enough away, so that means I can really go outside and do something. Because he lives far enough away from me that I ain't got to be a recluse looking out the window eating pizza every day. <laughs> you eat it a lot. I do. I love pizza. Me too. And I love Marco's motherfucking pizza. Marco's pizza. What? <laughs> that Marco's motherfucking pizza. You can't even just say Marco's Pizza. You have to curse with that bit. It's so good. Marco's motherfucking pizza. Without, yeah, it's in my phone. As They be like, Dad, my son, because you know I like Marco. He be like, Dad, uh, I'm going to Marco's motherfucking pizza. I say, what? It's so everybody know if they going to get me pizza, it better be Marco's motherfucking pizza. Marcos, I was living in a job with this household, so we didn't use those expletives at the time, but now that I'm out away from them and I am grown, yes, I can in fact refer to it as its proper name. Yes, put it in your phone as motherfucking pizza. Marcos, motherfucking pizza. <laughs> well, yeah. Alright, what's, what's, what's your next question? Say that again. I will be going out though. Um, Thank you. I don't gotta be looking over my shoulder like that. Yeah. Um, my next question is uh, how do I perform spell work, tarot readings, anything like that without without having to worry about like 
non-divine energies trying to pack themselves onto me or hurt me or my loved ones. Spirit, how does she, she's scared, Spirit. She's scared, she wanna play this game, but she afraid, so let's help her. How does she get unafraid? Priorities, tell her, King Solomon. Fertility, family, tell her, tell her, tell her. Come out of the closet. Only thing you have to do is contact one of your ancestors. You see, contact one of your ancestors and you attach them to you. Have them watch out for you. But see, let me tell you something. What a lot of tarot readers, psychics, mediums, they don't understand. They don't think that when they made that deal, that contract to talk to the afterlife, to talk to the metaphysical people, all that shit there, they don't understand that they made a contract with something to protect them. I have my Baron. No matter what's going on, he's gonna be my stand-in. The problem is, if you're gonna do this and you don't want it to affect your people, you get a stand-in, you don't talk to them direct. You get a stand-in who's a buffer and they're gonna always talk to him. Baron tell me what they say. So let me help you out. When you pray, how, what's your prayer before you slap them card, lay them card, to, to, uh, read for people? What you say? I say, ancestors, angels, deities, guides, and divine energies, please allow me to get the messages needed and protect this reading from any negative, non-divine energies from interfering or deceiving us. So you just called on your ancestors, and they say form a deal with one of your ancestors. So call your ancestor by name. Call your ancestors, the fine being. You you are protected. You ain't got to worry about it. Only time you have to worry about something coming on your family is when you trying to be do more than what you're supposed to. Try you trying to do an exorcism. You trying to pray shit away. You trying to be the the priest in the house. No, no, no. You're reading for people. Until you get strong enough or watch my Patreon and learn this shit the right way. Okay. That makes sense. Um, no, I really appreciate that because I, I, a lot of people ask me to do extra things and I tell them, like, I really don't know how to do those things. So, all, the only thing I know how to do is read the cards and tell you the messages that I'm getting. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, that, that's basically it. That's all that's needed. Learn how to do more than that. Try to learn how to engage in like exorcisms and other kind of spell work and stuff like that. Spirit, do you want her to do more? Spirit said nurture yourself. Spirit said listen. Spirit said prayer. Not ready. Not ready yet. Because you still, you got to understand what the first card said. You haven't gotten outside yet. You haven't did what you're supposed to do. You haven't explored enough, got enough imagination, or got your fear-based system. Hell, you're doing one terror reading, and you hear a click in the closet or a candle pop. Oh, God, it's a spirit. And now you done fucked up everything. You need more time. Nurture yourself, listen, and meditation. You need to learn how to listen a little more, and you're going to be all right. Spirit, is there anything she can do to level up? Level up besides going outside. Take charge of the situation. <sighs> See the truth. And release tension. Mama, you ain't gonna level up. You ain't gonna do nothing without facing your fears or facing the world. You don't have children, do you? I do. I have twin boys that are 10 years old. So you telling them to stay in the house too? Why? I get scared. <laughs> I get scared. 
freaking scared. I don't want them to go out there and, and get hurt. I don't want them to get out there and um, end up getting influenced by the current mode that a lot of people are in right now, which is, you know, mm-hmm. no. So you're going to say something else that's crazy. You can't protect these kids. I got a 19-year-old son, well, 20-year-old son, autistic, and I gotta let him out the door. I don't want to. I gotta let him out there, cause I can't. I can't hold him in. You got a two 10-year-old boys that should be in sports, that should be doing some kind of activity. So now you sitting up there afraid to expose them to the dangers of, uh, of, of, of people outside. But what about that phone? What about that computer? What about that internet? They being exposed to hell of a shit there. You can't protect them like that. Let the kids live a life. Let them live a life. They saying take charge of the situation. They said Crystal, see the truth about the kids. And then they got released tension. Those those kids' fears are not your fears. And you don't get the right to put your fears on those kids. I had to tell my girlfriend that. I say, sweetie, don't come up here ruffling my feathers because you afraid that something can happen to me that I've been doing for 30, 40 years. I say, my fears is not your fears. Your fears is not mine. So don't do them kids like this. You need to get your ass out that door and them kids need to get out that door and play. Now, if you don't trust the neighbors that they playing with, now let's take them to an arcade if they still exist. Let's take them to Bounce World. Let's take them to Go-Kart Land. Let them have something outside of those walls in school. Put them in a program. And I was, yeah, I, I like to take them to the playground, but I'm also thinking about getting them enrolled in like boxing or, or like some yeah. kind of sport activity, like you said. Yeah, because you're a single mother and you're going to need them boys to protect you, so we ain't going to let them get out there and let them get influenced by Takashi 62 or 9 or whatever that Eminem yeah. now later boy is. <laughs> We not finna let them get influenced by music so you put them in boxing so they can protect their goddamn mama at all costs. Yeah, Because the world is very unforgiving to women nowadays. I seen it. I was watching the shit. The boy shot the girl for not giving him enough. You fucking lunatic. He threw one girl in the dumpster for not talking. Come on. Where did we go wrong, man? So... Really, what I'm afraid of is I'm getting around them, them red pill boys who are like, "Oh, you scared of your mama? Your mama don't want you to climb over the fence and jump into the ditch and go dig up a hole." The guy, and, yes, the teach them. Yes, be very afraid of my mama because y'all ain't gotta live with her ass. I, I get my ass handed, <laughs> bitch. Y'all ain't gotta live with her. I'm afraid of, and you should too. And teach them how to hold their own. But yeah, get their ass outside. Spirit say. Take charge of the situation, see the truth about the boys, I mean about the children, and release tension, okay? Yes, sir. Absolutely. And I'm writing all this down, too. You better. Because I was wondering about how I should handle their situation, especially with their father, you know, being wherever he is, literally wherever he is, um, and not them not having, like, a direct male influence in their life. To really guide them towards their divine masculinity, you know. Mm-hmm. So I feel like putting them in them kind of situations where they're able to learn how to not only defend themselves but to get their their um character up would be really good. For so them. could I ask you one thing? And if I and, and this is just me asking, you can do what the hell you want to do. When you yeah. put your sons and when you give your sons over to these male mentors and coach because this is what i do outside of the baron i'm a i go inside the jail houses and the school systems and i teach a course of how to empower at-risk youth and their parents i'm not a fucking mentor i empower children to be better than what they see on tv now let me ask you a question because i see this often too much if you give your child over to a sports person Boxing, football, Man. basketball. Do not let that person become their surrogate father. Okay. A lot of women fuck up and do that, and the kids stop listening to them, 
and they start paying attention to the only male figure in their life and then the male figure ain't got time for them like the mother do and then they end up feeling isolated and alone on top of not having dad. Now the only male figure in their life gotta go home to a wife at night and they can't call them when they having a problem. So uh -huh. yeah. do me a favor and I tell people, this is what I talk to them kids about and I'm sorry I'm on my soapbox, but if you finna put your kid in these situations with these male influencers in sports and education, it is not a good idea to allow them to have full access to your kid or to have your kid or uh, to put their insight into your child. And a lot of women, single mothers, turn their babies over to the coaches, to the athletic community, and they raise the baby and then you wonder why you're fighting with the boy or some shit or you wonder when the daddy come around, he wanna he hate the daddy because shit, he can't even get back into it. But you let them learn, you put them out there, put them in sports, put them in boxing, karate, taekwondo, whatever you want. But at the same time, you make sure you are at the beck and call. Mama, I bump my ass. Come here, baby, let me kiss it. It ain't wrong to baby your sons. I'm sorry. I scraped my ankle. It's okay to cry that shit on out. Walk it out. Get the pain. Feel the pain. You feel the pain? Yeah. Cry. It hurt? Yeah. Nah. You done cried your tit? Yes. Shake it off. You can do this. Allow them be sensitive, but... I, I, it's just me. This is this is my idea. So I may be outdated and wrong, uh, but I'm just saying, just don't give your kid. Once you give your kids over, don't give your kids over to the mentor all at once. Still be involved, cause when that mentor can't answer that phone when that baby having a problem, that's when the anger, the attitude, and the bullshit come in. Gotcha. No, for real. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm passionate about this. Yeah, I'm looking angry at the camera. Shit, I gotta get right. <laughs> yeah. Calm down, Barry. Take a deep breath. I know. I'm not gonna let them go. I'm Don't. not gonna let them go. Keep my children around. I, I do have a question. Go ahead. I do have a question about that. Mm -hmm. Recently, um, the local police department came to us letting us know they had like a a kickball team that they were starting and they requested that my son be a part of it. One, should I let them be a part of it? Well, actually, no. One, should I trust the officers that came in as because he, the dude gave me a creepy vibe. I'm just going to say it. He gave me a creepy vibe. I don't like his vibe. I don't like it. And the so, two, if he's not a creep, should I let them join it? Okay, I'm going to ask two questions, but I know where you're going. Spirit, can, is does this officer have any uh, malicious intent towards her? Mm -hmm. Like, is he trying to screw oh her? Kids. No, hold on. There's two questions. Is he trying to get in her pants or he got any malintent with her? And that's why she felt this creepy vibe? Talk to me. What's going on with this officer? Eyeball him. Spirit said, stay focused. Spirit said, follow your heart. Spirit said, persistence. Stay focused, follow your heart, persistence. If he's not, he's trying to get you, mama. He's gonna be flirting around, or he's trying to m pick you out the lineup, something like that. So he has an he ill. Air fryer for Christmas. Okay, he has he has a, 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 an agenda, I should say, for you. And look at him, he already gifting you. I don't, I didn't know that. Spirit told me, right? I didn't use it. Yes, I didn't use it. It's okay. How you still? How you gonna gift this lady? You trying to get her kids to save the community? Don't gift her. You trying to screw her, homeboy? Hey, and that's what these mentors do. You follow me? All right, spirit. Should these kids join the police athletic league? It's a great thing. Good cops out there that work with them kids. Damn good cops. I testify to them. Spirit, should I, did she put them boys with them with the athletic league? Spirit said yes. One question. Get them out there. Put them in the athletic league. Let them see. But just know that old Roscoe gonna try to get it. <laughs> well, no, and I'm pretty sure that man is married. I don't, I don't want to get involved with none of that. Mm -hmm. Um, can I use the air fryer? <laughs> yeah, let me ask, Spirit. Did he do anything malicious to the air fryer? Can she use that air fryer? Spirit said, balance career and home life. Yeah, yeah, he gave you something. Make some money off it. Turn off that stove and throw that bitch in the air fryer. Save some light money. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, I really appreciate that. Can I 
that was something that's been weighing on my mind very heavily for the last couple of months. Nah, don't worry about okay. that. Don't, yeah, go ahead. Just be careful with them. Just be so careful with them. I really appreciate that. I really do. And I just wanted to say, like, I've been watching you, like I said, for a long time. Like, you're the one that got me into even trying out tarot reading and expre learning more about my spiritual side. Nice. Outside of the job and its religion. Nice. And I, I even get, I'm even getting the boys involved in that, you know, learning about tarot reading and things like that. Um, so I feel like that'd be really good for them. I just, I want to appreciate you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the biggest thing, that Christian book isn't a bad book. I, it's not a, it's basic instruction before leaving Earth. I get it. But they weaponized it, Mama. And that's what's wrong with us. No, I'm, yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, potential in the Bible for real. It's just the way it was taught to me was not healthy in the slightest. Yeah, and, and for that one thing, because uh, I got some friends at Jehovah Witnesses. Just a little side note, I got a friend here, and uh, he's pretty known. So he and his sister, uh, we went to school together. Now, he got married to this girl. He had to stay married to this girl, even when she was out and about doing her thing, because the church didn't have any proof. The church married them and they wouldn't divorce him. So now he had to move in with his parents. She kicked him out. She got back into the secular world heavy. Only reason, only way they allowed him to divorce her because she came up pregnant three years later. So he yep. stayed married to this woman for three years, beating the fuck off. Couldn't date nobody, couldn't talk to nobody. No. And he a true Jehovah Witness, like he keep to the to the word. So I say, bitch, you crazy. I say, man, I would have been caught Emily ass up around that corner. Boy, God would have had to forgive me tomorrow. I'm getting this nut off. No, they're really serious about that. Like, with the divorce rule, you cannot have a divorce. They look down on divorce just as much as they look down on, like, blood transfusions or, mm -hmm. you know, leaving, leaving the, the organization. And you can only get one if the partner is cheating. Yep. And they have to have proof. And the other partner has to be willing to uh, go along with the divorce. Even if the partner is cheating on you, if they say, no, I want to stay married, you have to be married to them. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I, I can't see it. And I'm technically, I'm not disassociated. I haven't came out and told like my, my, my family that I no longer want to be a Jehovah's Witness. I tell my mom, but they don't know. Mm -hmm. And if they did know, I would be disfellowshipped and they wouldn't be able to talk to me anymore. Yeah. That really makes me sad. But you gonna you want a friendship or you want peace of mind? Go ahead. Should I go back to Cleveland? Should I go back to Cleveland with my family and just play along until I get my, my, my money up and then I can move out and let them know? Or should I just let them know and, and build up on my own? Spirit, can she do this on her own? Can she do this on her own without going back home? Spirit said detach from drama. Spirit said flow of prosperity. Spirit said purification. Mama, do this shit on your own. Detach from drama, flow of prosperity, and purification. Go ahead and clean that shit up. You don't need them. They, if you believe in yourself and your own spirit, you got this. Thank you. Because I really didn't know, because I've been thinking about it, like, I income tax hit, and I'm like, should I go ahead and try to give me an apartment where I'm at right now? So I move state. I move state, so that way I wouldn't even have to deal with them in that, in that situation. As long as you got some should income go coming in, get you an apartment. Let's not live above your means now. As long as you got something you can maintain, get your down payment, get your apartment, get get you a side gig. I don't care if you go on the internet and don't even show your face. Wear a mask. Just show you know how people show their neck on cleavage down, or just show your hands and your table. Right. Start doing this shit. You got a gift for it, and go ahead and make your money. Go ahead and and, and do what you got to do. You don't know how much peace of 
mind that gives me because I just because if I go back there they're going to make me go to the to the kingdom hall they're going to make me observe the stuff that I just don't agree with and you know I feel like that's taking the easy way out at the end of the day so thank you no problem videos not the ones but some of the other ones and they they really like they really like you Ah, nice. <laughs> and speaking of true scoop, can you tell me why this morning I woke up and through the fire was in my head? <laughs> and did you kick anybody ass? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about it. Thinking about taking that man back behind 7-Eleven again, but I didn't do it. Don't, don't beat him up. Don't beat him up. Don't Leave, leave the man alone. He... <laughs> Look at that. You fine. <laughs> You good damn people. No, you had a good time. No, um, uh, I'll start. I, I recently got a job. I, I have a job, but I got another job. Um, for this medium site, it's like a it's like a reading chat service, and you get paid per minute. Okay. I'm I'm just about to get started with that. So I was thinking about using social media to promote that. So if people want to get a reading, they can go to my medium chat and book me there. There we go. That we go. Well, shout it out in this video. This your video. You paid for it. Shout it out. What's your what? You got your handle yet? No, I'm still making my profile. Oh, when they get your profile, call me back. I post it. Uh, awesome. Uh, thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what I like to say. If you need to reach me, you know how. Definitely, sir. Thank you so much for this reading. You've been great. You've answered so many questions. Thank you. Keep doing what you do. Keep helping people because you're doing a great job. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride this thing to the wheels fall off. Yes, sir. All right then, darling. You be good. Appreciate it. You have a good night. You too. The sisters, this sister can make big change. She can make big money and she can make a big change too. She just got to come out the house and she got to break that shell. When you've been indoctrinated by a certain spiritual system, it's hard. So we got to be easy on this sister so she can come on out. But once she get out there and she tap into her psychic ability, that latent psychic ability that was suppressed, cause she got it, she got it. She's fun, energetic, she just got that fear. Once she get the fear out of her system, get to doing that psychic medium thing, and I'm and when and let me when they visit, when they do a profile, I am going to upload her handle. And you know how I say it's a lot of it's enough out here for all of us to eat, and she may have a spiritual awakening that's gonna let me know, and I'm gonna be happy. Let you know you're gonna be happy. We are gonna learn from each other. But everybody, let's pray for this sister. Positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust the you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.